Those men who came to speak to you at the manor, who were they? My brother and several of his friends. They asked about Ambassador Briala. They didn't think she was staying with me, surely? No, sire. They asked when I last saw her. We were once friends, remember? I've forgotten that you knew Briala. When I lived in the palace prior to working for you, we've barely spoken since. Oh, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I know how elven servants can be. How odd that more men show up at the manor to speak with you. You and not I. I apologize, sire. I'd never met those men before. And what did they need? Nothing unsavory, I hope. Sire, you should know those men approached me again. Again? The last time they came to the manor, I told them to leave you be. They came to me in the market. They claim I misdirected them, but I swear I didn't. They asked about ruins, something I found when I was a child. Rather strange they knew about it at all. No need to worry. I'm your patron, not them. I won't bow to Tevinta's scum, that's for certain. How is it that you know anything about ruins? You forget, sire. Before I became a servant at the palace, I was with one of the Dalish clans. Ah, yes. I keep forgetting because you don't have those ridiculous markings on your face. I was too young. Long ago as it was, I remember the Arbor Wilds as if it were yesterday. You are worrying Madame with your shouting during the night, not to mention the other servants. I can't help it, sire. A woman comes to me in my dreams, and she whispers things. You mustn't say that, not in public. People will think you'll be taken by a demon. I would never do anything to jeopardize your reputation, sire. She's not a demon, sire. She says her name is Mithal, but I will be quiet. I promise. <laughs>